Hi, I'm Christine Cushing and welcome to another helping of my favorite foods. Today we're going to cozy up to one of my favorite warm beverages. There will be spices, there will be flames, there will be marshmallows, and there will be chocolate. Get ready for hot chocolate my way. I mean, who doesn't love hot chocolate? Seriously, I want to share with you my special way of making it. First thing I'm going to do, I actually use bittersweet chocolate. So I'm using here a single origin, really great quality chocolate. Whatever kind of chocolate you use, just make sure it's a good quality. It doesn't have to be single origin, but I want it to be a great quality chocolate. Mostly cocoa, not so much sugar. Now what's the difference between cocoa and chocolate? Cocoa, when the beans are processed, they remove the cocoa butter from it, most of it, and there's no sugar added. So that's a bitter, uh, where all the antioxidants are, that is just the real deal, but without the cocoa butter. With the chocolate, you have the cocoa butter and usually some sugar added, although sometimes you can get it without sugar. So if you're gonna make hot chocolate with cocoa, it's gonna be leaner and lighter, but then you're gonna to wanna to add a mess of sugar. So that's why I make it with the melted chocolate and I get this really amazing, creamy, silky texture, right? Sound good? All right, let me get my chocolate. So the key about melting chocolate in the microwave is you just wanna do it super slow because the chocolate does not wanna be scorched. As soon as you scorch it, it's gonna burn and then it's gonna be in chunks. So here you wanna use a chocolate setting and you see how there's still a few little bits here. So step one that I like to do a little precaution is I create a little ganache with some of the milk, pouring it into the chocolate. This chocolate is so good. So you see this little step of this ganache, this is gonna really essentially melt the chocolate. Then now I'm gonna put it into my individual cups. So I've measured this to be divided for two cups of hot chocolate. My hot chocolate is really a mashup of three chocolate memories. One, when I was a kid and I would go to the ice hockey arena with my brother, that instant hot chocolate from the machine. Then when I went to culinary school in France, the thick, rich chocolate that was crazy, I'd never tasted before, and s'mores. So this is a mashup of those three chocolate memories. Now, if you wanna make it with cocoa, you can do the same thing, but now you need to have a little sugar in it. So I mix the sugar with a little bit of cold milk and the cocoa and make a paste, and then do the same thing I'm gonna do with the milk now. So what do you think? Shall we make one with a little bit of spice? That's what the Aztecs would do. And by the way, that was the original hot chocolate, right? It was just the word in Aztec for uh, chocolate is basically bitter water or bitter drink because of course they didn't have sugar. So let's go in with mm, a little ginger, which is kind of spicy. So I think I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with some chili. I'm gonna go Aztec on this one. So just... Oh, I'm just gonna put a, a lit, not crazy, cause then it's, then it's gonna get ridiculous, right? Not that. And then I'm just gonna throw in a couple of cloves in the bottom. They're gonna be gentle, not too much flavor. So just a couple of whole cloves like that. Already I can smell the ginger, crazy. Okay, and this guy is gonna be just really simple, pure, and I think I'm gonna go, I promised you marshmallows and fire. This one is gonna really feel more like a s'more. So. How do I get a really nice frothy milk on this? I'm gonna actually use my milk frother from my coffee machine. If you don't have it, don't sweat it. Huh? Don't foam it. <laughs> you can just uh, heat it up in a pot and pour it in. It's not a big deal. Let's go do some foaming. So now I'm gonna divide it between the two cups, nice and hot. You don't wanna burn the milk, but you wanna make sure it's hot. I'm gonna save a little of the foam for the top. Oh, that is looking great.
Now, this one, remember I promised you some flames and marshmallows, so I'm gonna go in with some baby marshmallows just on top, because I really wanna get that s'more flavor. I filled it up high so that when I char it, because I am gonna get flames out, these are gonna sit on top of the cocoa. Ready for some flames? Gotta have the right, make sure everything flammable is out of the way. Totally smell like s'mores. I love that kind of burnt, crispy, amazing marshmallow flavor. I love to put a cinnamon stick in it just because it looks so beautiful and it's gonna start to introduce a little bit of flavor. Ooh, these babies are hot. And last but not least, I'm gonna give them both a little sprinkle of cocoa. All right, s'mores, come on, these charred marshmallows. They look burnt to a crisp. <laughs> Let's see how they taste. Mmm. Oh, that is the best, actually. Before you even taste it, you get that charred marshmallow that takes you right to the campfire. Oh, you're gonna love this one. You gotta try it. Thanks for joining me on a hot episode of My Favorite Foods.